Hey, Razor Mike here. Welcome to my channel. I am a portrait and commercial photographer working out of Miami. And in today's episode, we're going to be talking about boudoir shoots and how to make them more fun and engaging in three easy steps. All right, let's roll the intro. Before we get into the three easy steps, first we have to get organized, right? So the very first thing that a client might need or is good for them to have would be a checklist. The checklist is basically a series of steps that you give the client of what is going to happen. What are the next steps in this process of this boudoir session? Chances are this could be your client's first time ever doing this type of shoot. Maybe they've done portraits before, just family portraits or other type of shoots, but not boudoir, right? So boudoir is definitely different. They might be a little bit more nervous. They may not know exactly what the ins and outs are. So having a checklist of this is what's next, this is what's next, this is what's next is very ideal for them. It's gonna ease their anxiety and uh, they're just gonna feel more comfortable with you the day of the shoot because you have shown a level of professionalism that is gonna ease all of that tension. The checklist items could be as simple as first I am going to book this hotel uh, this is what the hotel looks like for example and this uh, this all of course can be communicated via text um, this is usually the best way right now because everybody likes it it's instant and you don't have to be you know you could be doing anything and be multitasking so text is text messaging is preferred um, so that's one thing you could do is kind of set you know this is the room we're booking okay the book the room has been booked check so they see everything that's been checked off on this list and they can you know feel at ease that things are progressing as they should so now let's get into the three steps that it's gonna make your session a lot more engaging and fun for your client number one this is probably the most important thing that you have to do is bring music bring music that suits the scene right so i like to i have a playlist on spotify that is boudoir music and this is kind of like sexy uh slow paced type of music that's going to help ease them into that mood that you want to capture right so you don't want to play any hip-hop you don't want to play any rave you don't want to play any rock um, because it just doesn't suit the mood right you're trying to get that sexiness that sensuality out of them um, so you want something that's very slow paced uh, very relaxing very mellow. That's what you want to basically introduce in this section tip number two would be um, Bring wine. I know I know I know what you're gonna say. Oh my god. We shouldn't be giving alcohol to Guys a, a, a cup of wine is good. Okay. I'm not saying that she needs to get you know Completely buzzed up, but a cup of wine a simple cup of wine will ease her nerves it will relax her a little bit. She's going to be more tense. Because um, remember, most of the time, the best shots that we get is towards the end of the shoot. Why is that? Well, of course, at the end of the shoot, she's a little bit more relaxed. She's been warmed up. You have all of these shots that you've taken of her. So she's going to give you her best at the end because she's more relaxed. But what if we got her relaxed at the beginning of the shoot, right? then that means that you're gonna have a lot more opportunity to capture a lot more golden shots than towards the end. So that's why a cup of wine is greatly gonna help your client get comfortable and relaxed early to be able to get more great shots of them. Along with the wine, you should also bring little snacks. So I personally bring granola bars. Granola bars are a great snack. Um, you know, it's basically no mess, no fuss. Everybody loves granola bars and it does satisfy any type of little hunger cravings that you may have. All right, guys, number three, and this is obviously for you and for them. Well, primarily for you, but it's it's going to help you pose them is bring concept shots, right? So shots that you want to do 
shots that you want to take, shots that inspire you. You want to bring those to the shoot. Um, put them on your phone, right? Put them on your phone. Um, that way you can kind of show them, hey, listen, you know, I want you to, you know, you set the mood first, right? You say, okay, I want you to pretend X, Y, and Z. I want you to go ahead and, you know, make a motion, uh, caress your skin, caress your face with the back of your hand, etc., etc. You want to give them some guidance as to what the scene is. And then show them basically concept, right? This is what this is the shot that we're going for, right? And what that's gonna do is it's gonna help, obviously, it's gonna help you remember the shots that you want to take because it's your shot list, and it's gonna help them because you're sharing the vision, right? They know how to pose, they have a better idea of what the end result is. Well, that was fun. Thank you for listening, and go ahead and hit the subscribe button so we can sync up again. Alright? I'm out.